Hello! If you're if you're watching this, I assume you already saw the video where I explain what's going on over here. Uh, th this is the video where we show you how to build it. I'm putting this in a second video because I may or may not have forgot the first time, and I think it might actually be better to just have a shorter, uh, on its own video for me to link to people who don't know how to build this thing because this is something we plan to build a lot on Minerva, and I feel I feel like future members might benefit from this information. So let's get started. Uh, part of the reason I'm also doing this is because this design is not super intuitive to build. Having built like a few dozen of these in survival mode I can assure you that there is definitely a certain way to do it so my opinion uh, the best way to build it is to start with the dispensers so you might want to just get them in place let me just uh, middle click that and then get them in like that and then you might actually want to just break some of these uh, some of these observers you might want to just get them into place and then uh, leave it as is where you can just let me just uh, control click these uh, what you want to actually do is fill them up with shulker boxes right away. Uh, get the shulker boxes in there so that when you come back and actually place the rest of the observers, it dispenses them just like so. Now the reason that I'm actually doing this is because we have to actually build off of the shulker boxes. So you can see that uh, a lot of the hoppers in place are going to go off the shulker boxes and then we can actually build the rest of the design using that. So now your shulker box is already loaded and you can move on with the rest of the design. So, first off, you're going to want to start with this wall of pistons. You're going to need three high sticky pistons just like so. Now, obviously, I'm building three modules here. Uh, this is all one wide tileable. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, because we do need to have uh, redstone blocks underneath, this is one of the many things that can trip you up while you're building. You see, that's kind of a problem. So, uh, this is already tricky to get in here. So, there's just definitely a right way to do it. You might want to build a block against it and come in around the hoppers. You might even not want to build these hoppers right away. Just kind of come in like so, where you can just do this. But you want to get these pistons in, and then a half slab above them, and then you definitely need the hopper on top. You see, the hopper will stop the piston from extending, and that's the only way that these redstone blocks can work. Next, uh, you want to build it in a certain order because observers are bad. So you want to just get these ones out of the way. And then all the way up here, this block is where the pistons are going to go. And then you're going to want to actually come up two more blocks from there. And then place observers facing straight down. And then underneath them, you're going to want to put the sticky pistons so that they can scoop up these observers. You want to place these ones first because if you build them last, like you would if you're building from the bottom up, uh, you're going to power these. This is going to mess up and everything's just going to get annoying from there. Now, if you need any kind of reference, uh, your, your comparator will be on that block facing in just like so, and it'll be on the same level as the observers. I am so sorry I misled you, I already screwed up. You might want to tear out these pistons or the observers and actually get the dust on top of here because if you update these observers, as aforementioned, it will just be annoying. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. You know, hopefully you have a pickaxe. Just go rip out your observers. Hopefully you didn't uh, pause the video too, too fast there. Next, you have another observer that you want to place first. You want to place this before the block because... If you place the block first, then these pistons are going to get all out of whack, and that's going to be annoying. Uh, you also want to place the block very last because you got repeaters coming in here. And let me tell you, from experience, setting these to four ticks will absolutely screw the system up, and it's going to be a huge pain in the neck. Uh, now, I didn't quite mention this before, but hopefully you've taken note of this. I did actually prepare a platform underneath. This isn't obviously necessary for the design to work, but if you're building this in survival mode, it is going to be very useful to have this, just so you can place these observers in place, these pistons in place, and you get nice access to the repeaters, or you can place it like so. Now, we built this in the end, where this is not a well-lit block. You might want to place slabs in here, or some kind of light source on the outside, like pretending these are sea lanterns, just place them on the outside or something. Light cannot go through observers or solid blocks, so just kind of be wary uh, as you're doing that. But we can already come in here with the comparators, uh, blocks on top of the pistons, dust right just like so, and then more dust right on top. Now, this is a decision point. You can use comparators or repeaters. Both will work fine. It's well documented that comparators are less laggy, and I'm assuming if you're building this system, then you have a group of friends or a work ethic that'll involve you getting lots of quartz in a fairly reasonable amount of time. I'm actually going to link a, a, a video in the description below on uh, how we got 4,200 quartz in half an hour. I'm linking that because it, it goes to show that if you have a group of friends and you, you run to the nether for half an hour, make a little competition out of it, it can not only be a fun time, you can have some good competition, uh, good conversation as well as competition, but you're going to get a lot of quartz, and if you pool all your resources, it's going to be a nice uh, profit for all of you. Uh, I mention that also because obviously the comparators, and this does use quite a few observers, so that's just something you guys consider, can consider. And uh, ta-da, just like that, you're done. So 
couple things to mention. You're going to want blocks on the side so the shulker boxes don't pop off to the side. You're going to want your water stream two blocks below because if you're going to stretch this out over a distance like we did over here, you're going to need some system like this where the water is going over like a half slab and then the items can go underneath. That way you don't have to keep trailing it downwards and uh, this might be... Uh, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning, but if you're going to build this, you're probably going to use a water stream unless you're dropping these into hoppers for some reason. Um, uh, just build this two blocks down. So relative to that, uh, de depending on what you're building first. And this is another decision point. So I'm going to leave this open for right now um, in the world download and the schematic uh, in the description. You guys can decide if you want to build this kind of system where you can have two filters or you can build the hopper minecart filter over here. Let me just get rid of this for you guys. The hopper minecart filter right here, where it filters into two hoppers leading into the uh, the shulker box. Whichever one works for you. I wouldn't recommend the hopper minecarts. They're a little laggy and a little unstable in high lag and high lag situations, and uh, these are a lot more reliable. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out because this thing can be a pain to build in survival. You got lots of observers, you can update them with the repeaters, and you got the redstone block. Pretty much everything in this system needs to be built in a certain way or at least, you know, can be built in a certain way to save yourself some effort. And uh, one more reminder to build the block at the end. You might even want to do that, but that's probably not going to do any much. Well, hope this helps some of you guys. Uh, check out this video if you've made it through the tutorial and still don't know what the heck we just built. Uh, link in the description to the videos mentioned before, and uh, thanks for watching.